Hey everyone, we're getting to the end of 2023, and I thought this was an important conversation to have. Oh, don't worry, we got plenty of news and rumors and other crazy stuff to go over here heading into 2024, and I'm really excited about pretty much everything that's going on at Nintendo, whether it's the movies, we got the Animal Crossing Legos coming, we have the Donkey Kong theme park coming, likely a new system launching next year. I know some of you don't believe that, but... I guess time will tell on that. We have probably a Nintendo Direct coming up early in the year, if not February, maybe March. I have no idea if Nintendo moves it around. Princess Peach Showtime looks pretty fire. Thousand Year Door, etc. There's a lot to be excited about, even if we don't have like that major game, right? We don't know if Metroid Prime 4 is coming next year. We don't know about 3D Mario. We don't know about any Zelda games. We don't know about anything. A new Xenoblade game. Like We don't know about any big games right now for next year. But look, we're not even to 2024 yet, so let's not hit the panic button just yet. What I do find interesting, though, is this idea that, and by the way, this can apply to more than just being Nintendo. You guys have seen the uh, the, the title already, that it, being made fun of for being a fan of something. Uh, I'm a 37-year-old father of three, and it's very interesting watching how not only some people treat my children, other kids even treat my children, uh, but... Just thinking to my own experience, how much I've been, I don't want to know if the word is bullied, uh, that, that's probably the correct term, but it, that can encompass quite a lot of psychological warfare. And you know what, this entire topic really can, so maybe bullied is the right term. I've been made fun of my entire life for playing Nintendo. Um, and it's only really gotten a little worse as being a Nintendo YouTuber. And I find it fascinating because when we live in our online bubble, right, we tend to stick in the communities that are accepting of us. But when you're out in the real world, you don't always get that choice. And I'm sure some of you have maybe never had, like, never had anyone make fun of you for being a fan of Nintendo. Maybe it's just where you grew up. Maybe it's the company that you keep. Maybe no one really cares, right? And you would figure today in the world where we have the Mario movie being so massive and the theme parks, people would be more accepting of you being a Nintendo fan, right? Because Nintendo's a global brand and they're massive. And while they're not at the level of Disney, some of their characters like Mario, I would argue are just as recognizable as like Iron Man and Spider-Man and Mickey Mouse. But yet, for some reason, if you're actually a Nintendo gamer, there are still certain segments of this world that will try to tear you down. And I thought this might go away as I became an adult because, hey, most of my audience watching this right now also happens to be an adult, according to YouTube's metrics. Unfortunately, that hasn't been the case. And this video is really for everyone who's ever felt bullied for what they're into. And that includes Nintendo. The thing is, it's never okay to tear people down. Uh, it's never okay to make fun of people, especially people you don't know, because they're into something that you think is childish. That's like the biggest thing that happens being a Nintendo fan is being told that I can't be one or that why are you into those kitty games? If I'm sitting there at line at GameStop for some game launch that happens to launch on another day for another system, right? Like there could be uh, a Pokemon game launching, but there's also a Call of Duty launching at the same time. I'm an adult. Everyone there assumes I'm there for Call of Duty. But when I'm sitting there busting out my Switch and playing Pokemon and they start making fun of me for it because I'm actually there for the Pokemon game, that is not okay. It is not okay to pass that sort of judgment onto others, but it feels bad, right? Sometimes we even start to question ourselves, like, should I really still be doing this? You know, I've been a lifetime Nintendo gamer. Should I really still be playing Nintendo games as I near 40 years old? Maybe I'm the one that's wrong. And that's what happens when you're pressured and bullied and made fun of, is you start to question who you are. And... While we deal with a lot of that questioning throughout our lives, right, as we're trying to figure out, you know, going from being a little kid to being a teenager, becoming an adult, maybe having children or passing into your 30s and 40s and we advance in our careers and everything else going on. And as we get older and eventually hit an age where, hey, you start to realize, man, I'm really damn old. I can't sprint like I used to. I can't do this like I used to. I can't jump like I used to. I can't do the things I used to do. It's hard to wake up in the morning. There are times just from growing old, where we question who we are, where we go through this crisis of self-discovery, I guess is the way to put it. And because that already naturally occurs, I don't think we need the pressures of others telling us 
what's okay to like and dislike. And unfortunately, we live in a world where everyone is extremely judgmental of others. And maybe you and I are just as guilty. I grew up when I was younger, um, a very religious family, and I was always taught, hey, if you don't have anything nice to say, say nothing at all. And I'd love to say that I've always like followed that mantra of, look, I might think something bad, but I'm not going to say it. And I'm not going to act like I've never, you know, quote unquote, judged others. But I also try not to put people down for being fans of things. Like, I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to me uh, is a bit of a mess. And I don't really enjoy conversations around most of the Pokemon series. You guys have probably seen this on my podcast. And if you haven't, tune in. On January 10th, we have a, literally a Pokemon episode. You'll see how like disinterested I am in a lot of the Pokemon conversations. But I don't judge people for being into it. I don't look down on Andres Restart for being into Pokemon. I don't look down on you know Jake Randall, another regular on my show, for being really into Pokemon. That's okay. It's okay that they're super into something that I'm not. Likewise, I'm really into games like Age of Empires, and I, you know, they're not going to sit there and judge me for it. I play Madden, right? And, and God, this this really is frustrating um, because this is, you know, something that is related to the Nintendo fan base. There was a time uh, a couple years ago I live streamed me playing one of my Madden games. I was playing a Madden League game on my Nintendo Prime channel. And there's a reason you've never seen me do it again since then. Um, I was mocked by the Nintendo fan base I garnered for playing Madden because they think you know EA is so evil, the game is so bad, blah, 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 blah. And you know what? In many ways, I don't disagree with those opinions, but I'm still having a good time playing the game and I don't need your judging eyes on me. And that's why I said this applies to more than just Nintendo, but... I'm sure many of you have been through this in life. At one point or another, other people looking down on you for what you're into and the things that you enjoy. And as a content creator, I, I thought, you know, doing this YouTube thing, I've been, I've been pretty serious about it for six years. The last year, I've been doing it full time. I thought people would maybe back off, right? I walk around town wearing this uh, Nintendo Prime hat. I'll walk around wearing a Zelda shirt or a Mario shirt. You guys know I have that purple Kirby shirt as well. Uh, yeah, I like to dress up and look nice, but sometimes my my undershirt, this one I'm wearing now, doesn't happen to be one, but it'll be a gamer shirt. And I thought that, you know, people would just be accepting. Uh, maybe they'd Google what the hell Nintendo Prime is because they've never heard of it. And instead, there, I'll get a lot of, uh, why are you wearing that Nintendo bullshit? Grow up. <sighs> this just happened when I was at Costco. Um why people why why this why this particular person felt the need to tell me to grow up uh was quite fascinating and and then they're sitting there uh they were wearing like a, a John Deere hat and um a flannel shirt and I wasn't passing any judgment on them and the brands that they're into rather like, oh why are you supporting a tractor brand on your hat or whatever like why would I even care about that but for some reason because I have Nintendo Prime on my hat and was wearing, at the time, I think it was even a Breath of the Wild shirt. So you would figure this is a more commonly accepted game among even, you know, other fan bases. Here was this person in their 50s or 60s. Again, I don't really know exactly how old they were. Making fun of me, telling me to grow up as I'm sitting there with my three children. And, and that's what bothers me the most, is I'm walking around with my kids, shopping, being a responsible parent, and I'm being told in front of my children that I need to grow up because Nintendo's on my clothing. Um, and then I had to have a conversation with my kids when we left the store because they were like, why was that person making fun of you? You're, you, aren't you a Nintendo YouTuber? Why would anyone make fun of you, Dad? Um, and that was not a conversation I was prepared to have that day. So sorry if I'm getting a little emotional. Um, this is just a situation that isn't okay. And the reality is we're going to be dealing with this our entire lives. Uh, there's a lot of, and you know, excuse my language. I don't do this much on the channel assholes out there. Okay. There's a lot of assholes out in the world. And the unfortunate reality is this stuff is not going to go away, but I wanted to let everyone know that deals with this stuff and sometimes it can even add to depression and other things that we're dealing with. 
one, you're not alone. Okay. Uh, you can always come into my live streams. You can always interact with my community, interact with me, uh, find a welcoming, warming community that even if you have opinions that are different from ours, uh, we'll probably still like it as long as you're not going out of your way to trash things other people are into. Uh, it's fine to not be into something. It's fine to say, oh, I didn't like the most recent Zelda games. I didn't like Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. And that's a perfectly fine opinion, but then you can't trash others for being into it or just trash the game overall because you didn't enjoy it. Yeah, we don't like that because you shouldn't, you know, you can not be into something without trying to ruin it for other people. I I want to just let you know I'm here for you. And that, you know, we live stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. You know, we have our podcast on Wednesdays. Come join our community and uh, feel welcomed. And this isn't a plea to get more subscribers. This isn't a plea to um, get super chats or, or what is that on video? Super thanks, I think, is something you could do. This is more of a letting you know you're not alone. Because I think in times like this, we feel alone. Uh, when I was at that store and that unfortunate gentleman said those things to my face in front of my kids while we we're in the dairy section getting eggs and milk, um, I felt alone. You know? There wasn't going to be anyone defending me. I didn't have my community of, of YouTube people there defending me or telling this person, you know, that he's wrong. And I didn't want, I didn't know what to say in the moment. You know, I, 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 I the only response I really had was, I'm sorry you feel that way. And I, I, I walked away with my kids because, like, what else was I supposed to say? I wasn't going to turn around and judge him harshly and make fun of him because I don't, I don't believe two wrongs make a right. I don't think someone coming at you and attacking you gives you the right to fight back, right? The, the, this is a mental assault. But two wrongs don't make a right. Like, I don't want to also mental assault them because clearly if they're that harsh of a thinker, they probably already have um, a lot of anger internally, and I don't need to stoke those flames. So, yes, I want to let you know you're not alone, and you're obviously really welcome here and probably welcome among your friends and hopefully your family. I know this YouTube gig, I wasn't always welcome among my family with this YouTube gig. I do think that... You also need to be reminded that it's okay to be into things that other people aren't. And there's another community that probably gets chastised more than anyone. Um, you know, you have like the My Little Pony fans out there. I know you guys get this shit a lot. Um, and I'm not here to sit here and tell you uh, what to be into. I'm not here to tell anyone what to be into. Uh, maybe it has to do with your gender. Maybe it has to do with your sexual preferences. Maybe it has to do with uh, you still ultra love Disney animated films as an adult, but everyone else tells you that that's wrong. Uh, maybe you're super into really, really bad foreign films and that's all you watch and everyone makes fun of you for it. It doesn't really matter what it is. Just know it's okay to have your own interest in life so long as that interest doesn't negatively impact somebody else. That's the key thing. Obviously, there's lines, right? Like if you're really into... Um, really strange things that harm others, then absolutely that is a wrong place to be. You guys probably can imagine the things that I'm referencing there, but unless it harms somebody else, there's no real reason to be ashamed about what you're into. I don't care if it's one piece and people want to make fun of you for being in, into anime. I don't care if you're really into the Ninja Turtles still. Say you're 50 years old and you just freaking love the Ninja Turtles and you have Ninja Turtle collectibles everywhere and you're wearing Ninja Turtles. Be proud of what you're into. The reality is we're going to be bullied our entire lives for the things we're into. And as Nintendo fans, I can tell you I have taken a lot of heat. I took a lot of heat as a kid. Um, I got duct taped to the bottom of a bench one time, uh, being called a nerd, being called all sorts of names because I was into Nintendo. Why aren't you playing the superior PlayStation? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and, and it's partially why I get so upset at times when I see some of these console wars happening online because console wars really is just a bunch of bullying. Like if we, if we really think about it, uh, the companies are competing for market position, and you can understand some of the, you know, Sega does what Nintendo don't marketing and all that. But when fans like go at each other, uh, it, it literally, I'm watching it unfold in front of me, and it looks just like a, I don't even know, it, it, it just looks like bully I'm trying to like get people to mentally submit to your ideas 
And oftentimes, even if they did, like let's say there's a a, a Spider-Man 2 Sony fan or a Horizon fan arguing with a Zelda fan from Nintendo and they're going back and forth and then the Zelda fan at one point concedes that, hey, yeah, Horizon actually is pretty good. I finally played it. And and you know maybe I do like it a little bit better than the Zelda game I recently played. You know what the Sony fan, and this isn't all of them, but this, this is just a particular crowd of them, sometimes does after that? They laugh. They'll laugh at the individual for finally admitting the other person might be right in, in the game preference. And they'll laugh at them for agreeing because, ha, 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 I was right the whole time. Ha, ha. We have this incessant need to always be right. I'm just as guilty, by the way. Go ahead and ask Jake Randall sometime about that. I'm, ju I'm just as guilty uh, for wanting to be right and having a hard time recognizing that you're wrong. Stubbornness. You know, no one likes to be wrong. It's not, it's not a fun feeling. I just want to let you know it's okay. You know, my community's here for you. I think fellow, uh, you know, you're going to find a lot of online communities that are here for you. Uh, you're, you're not going to be able to do much about the in real life stuff. Just be proud of it. Just be proud. You don't need to antagonize. I, I'm not one of those people that believes in that you're being antagonized, so antagonize them back. Be the bigger person. Because if all of us start being the bigger person, slowly and slowly and slowly, this stuff will become less and less common. Because now that older gentleman who is making fun of me, someday I'm going to be that older gentleman. And I'm not going to be at Costco, at Sam's Club, at some grocery store making fun of others. Because I remember what it was like to be made fun of. We can be the ones that make the difference. We can be that, gen that next generation that trickles it down to the ones below us to let them know it's not okay. It's just not. Thank you so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Ruffeljans from Nintendo Prime. We'll catch you in the next video.